Good morning, everyone. It's Shane from Hanlon's for another Maintenance Monday. Today we're going to continue on with our series where we're going through the basics in the tractor screens. So we'll get right to it here. Of course, we're back at the main tractor screen. So we hit the tractor. Now we're going to hit the hydraulic screen. Uh, first icon is the lock unlock. Uh, it's not going to do anything because we don't have the tractor running. The next icon is clock on and off. So that's a time function. Um, it works in conjunction with this little icon right here. So that one is where you turn the dial all the way over. It's continuous. That's after 59 seconds. If you scroll backwards, then you can adjust accordingly. So continuous is a hydraulic motor on something like a Valmar or maybe a hydraulic loading auger that needs to run all the time. So you set it to continuous, you push the you push whichever control it is, and then it will run until you go and shut it off. Um, time function wise, it will go for the time that you've set it for so many seconds, and then it will deactivate on its own. Uh, plus and minus, of course, you touch that, get the box highlighted red, scroll the dial on the right hand side, as you can see my finger, and that will give you adjustment on the amount of hydraulic flow that is going out the back remote. The next button down is priority. Of course, when you turn it on, it highlights yellow and you can see it in the information screen here. Where you're gonna use that again is probably when you're running a hydraulic motor um, and you have a tendency to be running more controls so that the oil flow that is required to that hydraulic motor always is there um, and then if something else needs to be starved back it goes accordingly hopefully that helps you out thanks for watching